Okay, here's a little turtle I found up in Madison County, Mississippi, out in the, out in the country. I was cutting a field down with a mower, and it's June 10th of 2018. And I've been keeping track of these up here for a while. Uh, these are started with the number of Gulf Coast box turtle 500, just so it's different from my other logs. This is number 503. It's got a mass of 77 grams, a dome height, which is across here, of 38. And then it has a width across the shell here of 58, a length across the total shell of 72. Of course, there's my gram scale. And here's a caliper. I go ahead and measure the shell. Dome height, again, is the most easiest thing to measure. It tends to be a little bit consistent if the animal gets damaged. Uh, the, shell, the length can actually d decrease if it gets gnawed on. Um, I rarely see turtles up here, but I've gone through and put a nat notch on the third plate there from the rear. That's what the shell pattern looks like. It's got sharp little uh, toenails. Here's the other ones I've found. Number 500 had a dome height of 47, length of 85, 68 millimeters width, and I didn't have a mass in that one. Because I didn't have a scale. Here's number 501 and 502 and 503. And then the dome height here, and this one's only 38, so I can rule out all these other three that I have. And I'm going to put them back where I found them. But I just want to go ahead and catalog these. Okay, this is in full sunlight, what he looks like. And if you look at the rings, which don't really mean that much, if you look at the major ones over here, there's probably five if I just had to make that up. If you count these little ones over here, there's way more. So we're going to go put it back where we found it. This all the grass here used to be uh, about three feet tall. And we're going to find, put it back where we found it over here. It's the remnants of a house from probably 80 to 100 years ago. Some of the beams here were, they used cedar logs or some of the nails are still around right there. And yeah, some of the brick chimney over here. Whoever lived here before had a, a garden, so there's a bunch of uh, nice flowers that pop up in the spring. Uh, we found them right over here. So, well, this is where we found another one before, so I'm going to put him down here. Screwed up his habitat. But all this here isn't cut. So, there he goes. The chances of me finding that thing again are probably next to nothing. This is only the fourth one I've cataloged here, so. Uh, they got a notch on there, got some data. Here's what's left of uh, some of these garden from a long time ago. Just cut all down with the mower. There's some crepe myrtles that got to be cut back. This particular pine tree, I think, is 105 feet tall, or 110. 
and there's a limb I need to blast out to fall down and hit you in the head. The pine beetles went through here a few years ago and killed out a bunch of stuff.